created this VR cave in an effort to create an interactive, immersive installation in which to play Minecraft. The frame is made of PVC piping and it has a large piece of canvas draped over the outside of it. We painted the outside of the canvas so that it would be stylized to fit with the theme of Minecraft. We also have a piece of off-white blackout cloth on the inside on which to project. We had several pieces of technology running simultaneously that allowed the user to play the game of Minecraft. These pieces of technology are the Microsoft Connect, a Memorex wireless Wii Nunchuck controller, a Wii Fit balance board, and two projectors. The Microsoft Connect is a very important piece of technology in our installation because it tracks the user's skeleton and reads the gesture they're supposed to perform in order to interact with Minecraft. The Wii Fit balance board and the Wii Nunchuck controller are used to control movement inside the game. The Nunchuck controller's analog stick can be used to look around, and the two buttons on the back are used to control jumping and tool swapping, while the user can simply lean on the balance board to control walking around. There are three pieces of software that we used. First is Osculator which takes various inputs and translates them into specific functions. For example, the PIC uses data from the Microsoft Connect, and we translate that into the left button value. Simultaneously, we're receiving Bluetooth data from the balance board, which is labeled Wii slash one slash balance, which Osculator then routes this information to our second program, Quartz Composer. Quartz uses object-oriented programming. It takes the data from the hardware, such as the Wii slash one slash balance from the balance board, and allows us to confine and interpret the data. Here we tell the balance board to translate the data to W, A, S, and D keys, which will then be sent to Osculator which is given a key code. This is also done with the nunchuck, where the data is sent to these four conditionals, which is an array of keys that we allow the user to switch between, which are the number keys 1, 2, 3, and 4. Finally, we created a custom gesture recognition code using the connect which as you can see, this program is powered by Unity, which is a open source gaming engine. The Connect will track the user's movements and snap the skeleton to the model. When the user moves their right arm up and down, Unity will recognize this as a pickaxe gesture and send a toggle to Osculator.